speed cameras. If you're a motorist, you might hate them, but if you're a cyclist or pedestrian, they could just save your life. Midlands today has been given exclusive access to figures that show that new speed cameras being tried out in the West Midlands are cutting speeds by up to 20%. So are they going to become permanent? Our transport correspondent, Peter Plisner, is by the side of one of the busiest commuting routes in Birmingham. So, Peter, what have you learned from the latest research? Well, Mary, as well as cyclists and pedestrians, uh, one of the biggest killers amongst uh, motorists and their passengers is excessive speed. Data seen by Midlands today uh, comes from trials in Birmingham and Solihull. So promising has the data been that Coventry City Council has already agreed to introduce average speed check cameras on some of its roads. It comes five years after many fixed site cameras were switched off. They might be small and almost unnoticeable, but these cameras appear to have had a dramatic impact. At this site on Birmingham's Hagley Road, traffic speeds are down by more than 20%. What we're seeing now is the speed of the traffic has actually slowed down. And those people who were recklessly driving, a lot of those have now uh, had tickets and have been fined for doing so. Those involved with these new camera schemes say there's more than just a road safety benefit. Anecdotal evidence suggests that if all traffic's going the same speed, there can be reductions in congestion, and that can make journey times much more reliable. Although the use of speed cameras remains controversial, today we found mixed views amongst drivers. They're just a money-making machine for the councils. That's my opinion. Well, to the point to consider, but, um, you know, it, it does seem to keep people, you know, keep traffic quiet. I think it's important. I think it's important because, you know, speed kills people. So far, only Birmingham and Solihull have installed the cameras. Now Coventry has agreed to use them too, but it denies putting them in just to make money. If you look at the experience in Birmingham and also in Solihull, what you actually find is that it's not about generating money. In fact, the scheme just about breaks even. And that's what we're looking to do here. It's about road safety and it's about saving lives and that's all. New speeding fines were introduced in April this year. The minimum fine on a road like this is £100, the maximum £1,000. That's as well as three points on your licence. If you have a clean licence, you might be offered a speed awareness course. In the last year, this camera has cut speeds by just under 20%, but more than 6,000 people have broken the 30 miles per hour limit. Well, keep your speed to the speed limit. Uh, that will mean you won't get a fine. It will also probably mean you'll get to your destination more rapidly. Today, though, many were clearly ignoring that message. We found scores of drivers slamming their brakes on close to the old-style cameras, even though they're now switched off. One of the points there. Are speed cameras a money-making machine for councils? Well, not according to the councils. Uh, they say all the money from fines goes to the government. The Treasury has confirmed that. They send it to something called the Consolidated Fund, which means it could be sent, spent on anything from NHS to education, not necessarily uh, road safety here in the West Midlands. The money that does stay here comes from drivers who go on those speed awareness courses. Uh, half the money is used on effectively running those courses. The remainder is used on processing and sending out fixed penalty notices to drivers. Who have been caught speeding using the new cameras? Uh, around 26,000 uh, people have received tickets. Uh, uh, the new system is much more effective than the old one, which used uh, cameras that needed film to be processed. And when that film ran out, they couldn't uh, catch any more motorists. The new cameras read number plates automatically and are digital, so they're connected to a data centre and they can effectively go 24 hours a day if needed. So just finally, what about the old style fixed site cameras? They're going to be taken out now. Some of them will remain, in fact the majority, but uh, where they're either near or inside these new average speed check zones, they'll be removed. OK, Peter Plissner, thank you. Right, Dan Pallett has joined me.